It is well known through human activities of the burning of fossil fuels or deforestation that we are increasing the temperatures of our planet. Climate change is complex, but you can simplify it to two components. One is the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and the second is the amount of heat received by the Earth from the sun. And that changes because of solar activity such as sunspots or the orbit of the Earth around the sun. In the 1920s, a Serbian geophysicist known as Militan Milankovic identified three cycles in the Earth's radiation input from the sun. The first one was at 100,000 year timescales, where the Earth moves from an elliptical to a circular orbit, and that changes the distance from the Earth to the Sun, and therefore changes the amount of radiation that we receive and changes our temperatures. The second cycle is the change in the tilt of the Earth's axis. This runs on around a 41,000 year cycle. The greater the tilt, the higher the amount of heat at high latitudes that the Earth receives. This significantly changes the albedo of our planet, changing our temperatures. In a similar manner is the wobble of the Earth on its axis. And this changes on a 26,000 year timescale. These three cycles are all happening at the same time. If you get a slight decrease in the amount of radiation you're receiving, you get an increase in ice cover. That means that more incoming solar radiation is reflected out, decreasing temperatures even further. The ice cover gets greater, decreasing temperatures even further. Conversely, if you get a slight increase in the amount of radiation over the northern hemisphere, it decreases the ice cover, then more incoming solar radiation is absorbed instead of being reflected, it gets warmer, the ice cover shrinks, positive feedback, it gets warmer. Sunspot cycles run on an 11 year time scale. A sunspot is an area on the sun where you have an increase in the amount of radiation. Some climate scientists have said that there is a relationship between the number of sunspots and global temperatures. This is because in the 1700s we had the Little Ice Age, a period of cool global temperatures and also a period where we have reduced number of sunspots. Sunspots do have an influence. They change the upper atmosphere chemistry. These cosmic rays can also change space weather, which can influence our telecommunications associated with satellites. The amount of radiation received by the Earth's surface from a maximum to a minimum sunspot cycle is less than 0.1%. But there is no relationship with climate. For example, the number of sunspots in the decade of the 1950s is identical to the number of sunspots in the last decade. But our temperatures are very different. It is important to know that climate has always been changing. It has always been changing because of natural processes. The amount of radiation received by the Earth's surface but also our atmospheric gas content, which can change because of volcanic eruptions. When we look into the future, we have to understand the natural forcing on climate and the human forcing on climate. Only when you truly understand both processes can you accurately project the future.